Hey guys, this is Dave, this is Mike, and we're, we're the Game, Game and Watch Bros. Bros. Hey guys, welcome back to the sewer. So today we are doing some Throwback Thursday with Final Fantasy VII. Now for those of you who are new to the game, and for those of you who are diehards for the series, know that this is going to start with a boss fight. Have you seen the HDification of this boss fight, Dave? Yes. Yes, I have. Looks fantastic. Dude, I'm super psyched about the remake. I cannot, cannot wait to play it. Just a few more months. Now, the only thing that concerns me with this fight is eventually he's going to do a tidal wave attack, which will attack all three characters. And the reason it concerns me is because if it does enough damage, because usually his tidal wave attack does more damage to us, if it does more damage, it could kill us. Right. Because of our low level. Hopefully it won't. I think I don't think it does more than a couple hundred damage. Well, you gotta realize we only got a couple hundred health. Yeah, but we're on the high end. I mean, worst case scenario, Tiff, uh, I think Eris may die. But I don't think we'll all die. Because Cloud's in the low 300s. Tifa's high 200s. And Aerith is the low 200s. Right. But we shall see. He hasn't pulled it off yet. Let's see if maybe we can kill him before he uh, uses it. Not going to do it that way. Yeah, I really don't like Tifa's limit break style. I don't either, the whole wheel thing. Oh, nope. Oh. Dude, it didn't even do over 50. We're good. Yeah. This fight's gonna be simple. Um, Another and, boss down. And it's over. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, about Tifa's limit break. Yeah, I, I don't like the wheel thing. I don't know if they were just trying to use an extra bit of complication into it, but I, I don't see why they couldn't do hers like everybody else's. Right. Except for Catshits. Right. Which, who cares about that character? I really do think that character is universally hated. Ooh. I'm sure someone probably likes it. Yeah, people, those furries. Which, if you're a furry, no judgment. What's your first sauna, Dave? Do what? What's your first sauna? Sona? Burr sona. I have no idea. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. That's your furry, your furry animal, whatever thing, I don't know. It's like, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Um, I'd probably be an elephant. Because we never forget. I bet you guys thought I was going for a fat joke, didn't you? Absolutely not. I don't understand how you do it, Mike. Just luck, dude. It takes me like an hour and a half to freaking do it the same way you do. I could literally go down, go around, get it the legit way. Oh, there we go. You just right. gotta be right spot. Get the legit way. And you, every time, first try, just bloop. From on it. top of the train. And in the Jones is it. Use this whip. What? Now, in all the barrels, there is an item, so... <coughs> now, in all the barrels, there is an item. So I'm going to try to get them all, just so you can see what they are. Uh, there's a couple of them that have ethers, which are useful for selling right. later on in the game. Because we're not doing the random battles, we're going to need money in this game. Uh, and boss, I don't, I honestly don't think boss money will be enough. Will we need money, though? Because we're not going to be... We won't be buying weapons, but we'll be uh, buying armor. Mm. Uh, we'll be buying items, I'm sure. I don't know. I, don't, I just... I don't think there's any items we're going to need unless we're going to go do the Chocobo braiding thing. But I think if we're going to do that, that'll be after we've killed Sephiroth. Well, and yeah, that, we've that... gone the whole way. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think that's going to be 
like a last minute thing as we're trying to beat the weapons just for shits and grins. Right, just to see how far we can take it. Oops, wrong train. Now, y'all are going to see that my control isn't the greatest, and it's not because I'm having issues controlling it. It's if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see that 3x. What that means is I've got it set to three times speed. I thought that was Mega Man X3. Oh, X3, whatever. Um, Swing and a miss. So my control's not the, the pinpoint accuracy because it's hard to judge when your character's moving three times faster than normal. Right. See right there? It's a little bit harder to get onto ladders and things of that nature. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Don't judge me. You don't know me. No All right, we're out of the uh, train graveyard. Now, did you know that's actually a really great place to uh, level grind? I know it's a great place to get a high-end weapon right off the bat for, I think it was Tifa. Uh, I don't know. Good early game weapon for her. You gotta steal it from one of the ghosts. You know, if you think about that, oh, think easy. about it, this is actually an incredibly sad moment. Right. Biggs dies, Wedge dies. Well, it, you know, it's just. First of all, in this version of the Final Fantasy VII, the only people that have been fighting with you all die, other than Barrett. Spoiler. Uh, but you're about to see in like a second. And then, even more, uh, just what Shinra does in response to, quote-unquote, three members of Avalanche. It's just, it's completely out of, out of the realm of, oh, okay, that sounds reasonable. Now, in the remake, it actually, from what I understand it, it seems like Avalanche is actually a huge organization. Or I guess not huge, but it, larger than three. Well, I think in the original concept, they were a lot bigger. But due to constraints of memory and the system and all that, they had to cut it down. Cut out non-essentials. So, uh, all I did in that menu was uh, cure Tifa of Sadness and then equip some materia so it'll level with the boss damage. Uh, I haven't changed any weapons. And in case there's a, those of you who are like, oh, how do we know you didn't change it? Because this game has a fantastic uh, graphic change. When you uh, change weapons, you will notice that none of the weapons look different. And what I mean by that is if you change the weapon, it's going to look different because the weapons all look different. Yep. So you can tell I still got the Buster Sword, Baron still got the machine gun. I think uh, Cloud was the only one we had set that, though. It is the only one we had set that expectation. Um, we said we didn't know what... Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Well, this fight just got a lot more boring, folks. Right. Because he will not... Uh, and when I say he, uh, Reno will not put the triangle on more than two players. So, we don't have to worry about him putting it on the third one. Yeah, see, it's already over. The, Tur the Turks are such a joke in this game. Yeah. I just, I really cannot wait. You know, like, the, uh, from the preview, the, the fight scene in the church. Uh, I, it's against Reno there, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Root is the uh, bald Turk. Uh, Seng is the one in the helicopter uh, who's kind of in the backgrounds. So, I was uh, watching some of the videos Ooh. on the voice actors for the, for the remake. And the lady they picked for Seven, she's a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber. Let's let's be a little bit more specific. The one for seven. There's so many female characters in seven. I thought I said for Aerith. No, you didn't. My bad. The one that plays Aerith. Uh, I knew where a, he was going with that, so that's why yeah. I was able to. They picked a really good care of person. She's a fellow voice YouTuber. actress. Voice actor, actress, actress. 
They get all offensive. I don't know. Anyway, she got a channel called Strange Rebel Gaming. Uh, check her out, though. She's only got like 100,000 subscribers. A lot more than us, but right. I think most of those subscribers she got after she did the Hey, I'm Aerith video. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure her popularity skyrocketed uh, when people found out that there was a YouTuber playing the voice of Aerith. Yeah. And, you know, it's not just a voice actor or actress playing in the Final Fantasy remake. Aerith really is an iconic character. And it will be interesting to see uh, how well she portrays that character. Yeah. From what I've seen, the, the very, very, very small amount of her looks real good. She sounds like how I imagined her almost, you know? You know, I feel bad for her. Because oh, yeah. someone's people be like us that. are going to be crucial uh, about it. And, and I say people like us, you know, like you just said, you set, like the sound of her. So, uh, you know, we may be like, oh, no, she was a good voice actress. But if she's just a little bit off, there's going to be people who are a lot more... Oh, no, that's not how Aerith would have done that or has said that. or Right. There's going to be someone out there that doesn't like her voice and thinks that Aerith should have sounded completely different. Oh, yeah. And they were letting the whole fucking world know about it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because, let's be honest, the Final Fantasy remake would not have been done without us. Right. And I don't mean the Game & Watch Bros. I mean avid, diehard Final Fantasy VII fans like us. Because they remade that game because of how vocal we were. Right. When they had made Final Fantasy XIII, uh, they released a press conference where somebody was like, well, we want seven, not another Final Fantasy until seven. And they said, we're not going to do seven. It's already been done. If we do it, it's going to take like seven or eight years to do. Well, no, back then, they said we're not doing it, period. Right, that's what I'm saying. They, they were saying because it was going to take so long to do it. So they said, well, we're I not going to do it. I think they gave a description far too long. a reason. But I guess they got enough like people saying that they wanted it or enough love. or Maybe they saw the cells when they re-released it on the Xbox One and the PlayStation. How well it did. Well, guys, I think that's going to be about it. We're going to go ahead and call it here. Thanks for playing with us, guys. All right, guys. Have a good one. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if you did, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons. If you want to see more of our games, click on the link in the top right, and it'll take you to the rest of our game videos. If you want to see more Game & Watch Bros, but you're not sure what you're in the mood to watch, well guess what, YouTube has a recommendation just for you in the bottom left hand corner. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. So as always, thanks for playing with us.